We are born with this inherent desire to look for meaning in life. The desire that takes us through many experiences and acculturation. At some point, we pause to take a stock and to look at others as well, how they take stock of the meaning of their lives and the meaning of their earthly experience. In this book, Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl shares the experience when he was interviewed as the book was a bestseller that if humanity was so interested in buying this book, it is a testament of having an inner anxiety because the book's quest, the book's title, promises to deal with the purpose of their lives. So what is our earthly experience, friends? Is it full of joy and suffering? Is it like a swing from one end to the other of an imaginary pendulum? This swing that has graduations of joy, happiness, inner peace, and on the other hand, graduations of suffering, sadness, are we uplifted by life's experiences on the one hand and yet suppressed by the weight of our own suffering, the suffering of our society, the suffering of the world, the suffering of others? Are we caught in between those two poles? In the swing, we experience worry, anxiety, fear, a triangle of conditions that impede us that ground us into our defenses. This triangle of conditions is the result of a life centered on the I, a life centered on the powers and dominions of a life wave that is less aware and in contact with the cosmic reality that is beyond them. And yet, in the center of the planet Earth, as well as in the center of our being, there is a force that pushes us to recognize our true nature. They take their radiance from the one, from that unity, which is in the middle and yet everywhere. They push us forward to recognize our current state, to be aware of our various conditioning. This conditioning creates who we are, and yet our true nature lies hidden within us. And all we have to do is give way for this to unveil. We have to be less of one nature and yet to be more of another nature. We have to be willing to participate in this awakening. When we start to attune to this new reality, this basis, which came from our earthly experience and a touch of the other reality, we start the journey to know ourselves. This journey takes us towards what the American singer, Lauren Hill, would call miseducation. That is going into the depth of our heart to find answers for our destiny. And so this gives us a chance for reflection. And based on our life experiences, a catalyst for change is ignited. As we go through quiet moments, we have to make choices. A choice in the loneliness of our being. A choice to listen to an inner voice that is our true nature. A choice to look for examples, not in each other, but in the nature of veiling its life. The signature of our true nature is all over and around us. It is in its authentic state. When you see a flower, when you see a tree, when you look at a river, 
when you look at the drop of a rain, the true nature of that unity, of that one, abounds. So as we inwardly start to isolate ourselves quietly and inwardly, when we stop going through the rat race of our earthly experiences, a new beginning starts. As we lose our connection to our earthly bound experience, we open to a new cosmic awareness potential. A potential that aligns us with all of nature in a more authentic way. We start to define success and meaning differently. We start to have a more of a cosmic life that unveils in us with a new purpose of life that starts a new opportunity for us to give. The cosmic awareness and dimensions through the rose of the heart starts to guide our actions. It gives us the opportunity to understand that what is below is same as what is above, as Hermes said over 6,000 years ago. What is within is the same as what is without. And deep in us, we have the signature and the playbook of the stars. We are like a seed about to sprout and show its riches. The question for us is if we are ready to start that journey in a more conscious way. For that journey started for all of us here a long time ago unconsciously. That is why we are here today sharing with one another. Are we ready to participate on such a life journey consciously? Changing our experiences in life by the influences of our deep spiritual roots into a more meaning living is what we all aspire for. And so friends, we end this presentation today hoping that we are willing to go this path of a more cosmic awareness in a more conscious way. <laughs>